Welcome back to the news at 10. Our Nigerian breweries have been appreciating their partners as the company recalls the highest sale in 70 years in 2016. Let's take a look. <laughs> Nigerian breweries with the theme Partnering for Greatness has packaged entertainment to complete a cozy evening at the 2017 Distributors Awards. The entertainment has been consciously planned to fit into what the company stands for and how it wants to be perceived. You watch the Unity dance this evening. It's not an accident because we are a Nigerian company. We believe in the project Nigeria. The company takes a break to look forward and brace up for 2017. I'm also confident that 2017 is the first step for another round of 70 years. One way to deliver on building a brighter Nigeria is rewarding hard work and so the prizes started pouring in. From appreciation of key distributor growth to brand champions award. She came ably supported by her daughter, I'm sure. Congratulations. Oh, wow. And the ultimate award to the national volume chairman with over 6 million cases sold in 2016. And the ultimate winner does not mind sharing his trade secret. Having good relationship with my customers, making your people or your distributors or sub-distributors to be kind of fun of you and giving them the sense of belonging in the business you are doing with them. As the management, transporters and distributors made the most of the evening. Let's take a look at some sports now. Here's Millicent Walker. Welcome to Sports News. MPFL bottom plays Ramos stars have appointed Fatayo Sho as their new technical advisor following the departure of Nduka Ogbade. Coach Sho parted ways with the team owing to contractual issues after helping them secure promotion to the top flight at the end of 2013-2014 Nigeria National League season. The Sky Blues have endured a poor start in the MPFL with two wins from seven games. Former Super Eagles forward Yakuba Egbeni has joined League One side Coventry City until the end of the season. Egbeni, who has Premier League experience with Middlesbrough, Portsmouth, Everton and Blackburn Rovers, has now penned a deal that will see him stay at Coventry until May 2017, pending international clearance. Coventry City is looking to avoid relegation to the fourth tier of English football. And West Ham United manager Slevin Blitch has been charged with improper conduct over an incident towards the end of Saturday's Premier League clash with West Brom. He was furious with referee Michael Oliver over a number of decisions in the 2-2 draw at the London Stadium. Towards the end of the game, he was pictured throwing a television microphone after West Brom equalised. His assistant, Nikola Jurovic, has also been charged over a separate incident. Both men have until 6 p.m. on February the 16th to respond to their charge. And Shanghai SIPG's head coach Andre Vierspersch is impressed with the quality of his team ahead of the new season. While Brazilian stars Oscar Hulk Elkerson and Portugal's Ricardo Cavio will star in the new season, the Chinese side already promoted to the group game stage of the Asian Champions League and will play FC Store on February the 21st. And Joe Root has been named as new, well, England's new test captain. The Yorkshire batsman succeeds, well, pretty much um, Alistair Cook, who resigned last week after more than four years in charge. Well, Root steps up from vice captain with Ben Stokes as his deputy.
And that's sports tonight. Many thanks for watching. I'm Millicent Wong. Guys, back to you, Mark. Thanks, Millicent. Four people have been killed in an avalanche in the French ski resort of Tigne. The group had been walking with their snowboards in their hands when the avalanche hit. It appeared to have been set off by a group of skiers higher up. In the group were 48-year-old man, his 15-year-old son, his 19-year-old half-brother, and a 59-year-old experienced and well-known instructor. Their names have not been released, but officials say they were all French. A fifth member of the group is said to have left moments before the avalanche hit and is cooperating with the authorities. This is said to be the worst incident since the beginning of this year's ski season in France. And the main news again. President Mohamed Buhari and his United States counterpart today had a telephone conversation. President Donald Trump commended Nigeria over the release of some Chibok girls and promised a bill to help Nigeria procure more arms to fight insurgency. Also today, Nigerians remembered late former head of state Murtala Mohammed with a memorial lecture in Abuja, where the Borno state governor Kashim Shetima frowned on the killing of 100,000 people by Boko Haram in seven years. And the People's Democratic Party Leadership and Strategy Review Committee today continued its fence-mending efforts with a visit to Nigeria's former president, Goodluck Jonathan, and other PDP leaders at their homes in Abuja. Time tonight. Thank you so much for staying with us. I'm Ijo Mahunyato. Do have a great night.